Hey everybody, this is FireGuy522 with my sixth hammer editor tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple button turn a light on and off. Or perform other functions, because I'm pretty sure how I explain this will show you how to do other things as well with a button. Anyways, go to Source SDK in your tools. That open, choose hammer editor. I'm going to use the current engine version, episode 1, and the Counter Strike Source. Don't worry, I have the orange box for those who want to know. Anyways, so choose Hammer Editor, open it up, go to File New, and it should look like this. Now, we're, I'm going to set up a basic little map, and it doesn't have to be neat or anything, just for this tutorial's sake. Okay, now with our little test map set up for me, yeah. Okay. I know it's like, ooh, you made a box map, and it's like, I don't care. I'm doing it in less than ten minutes. Be quiet. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and search for a button texture. Okay, I found one right here. If anybody wants to know, it's but door button zero zero two A. Okay, now we're gonna make a brush for the button. I'm gonna put it right over here. Okay, with that there, we're going to scale it down some more. Where's an acceptable height to push? Okay. Shut up a player. It's too high. Okay. So now we have our button set up, and you see it, and you're like, well, I can't it doesn't look like a button. Everything's all weird. Go ahead and get your face edit sheet. Click on the front surface of the face and hit fit. As you see, it self aligns its, or it aligns itself. And so it looks nice. But wait, the sides, they look weird because there's only like half a button. Or I can see the rest of it. Now, no, no problem. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do something to kinda hide it. We're going to set our X and Y on both to 1. And if you can still see it like I can, how it's this little half thing. We're just going to change our X. And now you can't see it. Simple. Now it looks like a real button. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a light somewhere in the room. Just right there. Okay. Now... We're going to go to our button, hit Control T, and we're going to set it to a function button, or funk button. I like that, funk button. Okay, um, now go to our light, and where it says name, we're going to set the name to something I'm going to set to light. Okay, now we're going to go back to our button, we're going to go to outputs, add, then on pressed. Or, okay, on my output name, on press, target entity's name, light. So it's going to be activating whatever on the light. Now, via this input, now what it's going to do is it's going to make the button receive an input after pushing. So it would be like, here, I'll just toggle. Okay, so via this input, toggle. Now what it should do is it should toggle the light on and off. You're going to go ahead and hit apply. And go back to your light. If you haven't already done this, go ahead and play with your brightness settings and whatnot. I always like doing this. And by the way, if anybody's wondering, you see brightness, it is color, but these three are color. This is a brightness level. Like The higher this number, the brighter the light's going to be. Okay. Never really made a light tutorial. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and compile the map. Let's save it. Uh, tutorial map. Okay, and yes, it's right there, right there. But don't ever put a space in the name. It's really sloppy, and you can't really run it unless you put quotations. So I'm just gonna do that. Save. Go ahead and compile your map. It's probably gonna freeze up my 
record, but who cares? Okay, once your map is com oops. Okay, once your map is compiled, uh, go ahead and close it up. Open up your game. Then we're gonna go create server. I was trying another death run map for my friend. Okay, and tutorial map start. <clears throat> and yes, I know it's slow. You're gonna have to deal with it. This is all real time loading, so. Okay, so I'm back in Hammer Editor after that little screw up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I also forgot something. You gotta put in info, player, counter terrorist, and whatnot. Also, I noticed the name. I forgot the L. Or forgot how to spell. Okay, so I'm gonna place some spawns in real quick. I'll recompile and then I'll load up the map. I'll save you guys boring loading time by pausing the video and getting back to you. Okay, so I'm gonna. Add another light in here because I obviously screwed it up. I really don't feel like restarting the tutorial, so I'm just going to bore you guys to death. Okay, so I'm going to recompile. Be right back. We'll load it up in game next time. Okay, everybody. Um, I finally got this up working again. I forgot to change the name. I had to type in the map, name, whatever, in the console. So here's the map. I had to add another light in there because you can't have a toggleable light for some reason. So... Anyways, also oh, hammer editor crashed while I was loading this. Okay, so here we are inside the map. Excuse the horrible frame rate it does this when it's recording. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the button and the light goes off. I hit it again and the light comes on. Off. Sometimes it's a little weird on. Um, it's a little weird doing this, but it overall it gets it eventually. Anyways, yeah, this is Empire Up 5.2 with my sixth hammer editor tutorial teaching you how to turn a light on and off using a button. Have fun, don't burn yourselves.